What's going on everybody? Um, today's video we're going to do a little walk around of the truck, but first off we have to stop by Simply Mac, which is a computer store, like Apple store. Um, it's like, it's kind of like an Apple store except the Apple geniuses aren't there. It's actually people who know how to do actual work rather than you telling you, well, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Um, the computer right now is not working too well. Uh, it, it is a MacBook Pro, but it's a, I bought it in 2011 and it's seven years old. Uh, I mean, it's, it's lasted a lot longer than any Windows based computer I've ever owned. So, we'll, uh, so we're, what we're going to do is just drop this off, drop the computer off to get looked at, maybe repaired, uh, hope, well hopefully it gets repaired, hopefully it's not 12, 12 to $1,400 for a brand new computer rather than, rather than spending that, I'd rather just spend like a, a hundred or two hundred bucks to get it fixed and back up and running, um, because I have a lot of my documents on it from college, a lot of my, all my resumes are on it which best thing about owning a Mac, MacBook computer or any kind of Apple computer at that. Um, I don't really like, like if I wanted, if I saved a document uh, with iTunes, with the iCloud and everything, I can just pull anything up on my phone that I need to, um, especially with it being a Apple phone. Um, I can pull up all my documents on my phone. I did that a lot through college, uh, especially to, especially on my like my junior year, senior year. Uh, that's I think that's when Apple first started day like first started doing that. First started let first started letting that available. Um, the uh, the whole like iCloud, iSharing, all this, all the crap that goes along with that, um, but I can, I was able, I'm able to pull up any documents, any PowerPoints, Excel spreadsheets, anything like that, any Word document that I have saved on my computer, I can just easily pull it up on my, on my cell phone, I can't really edit on my cell phone, which is the downside of that, but that's why we're getting the computer fixed. Um, hopefully it's just an easy fix. Like I said, nothing more than 100 to 200 bucks. I'm gonna try to have this video out before it gets fixed though. Uh, luckily, my dad's computer is a MacBook Pro. And so all I have to do is just download the GoPro software, load it up on his computer and do all that. And, uh, and then I can upload the video onto YouTube. Um, but anyway, that that's what I'm doing now. Um, computer's gonna go get fixed. We're gonna have a brand new. We're gonna have a new video up. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a new, newer, fun, like a new, newly style functioning computer. It was a little. It was acting a little funny for the past month, month and a half. Uh, just being really weird. Uh, not really wanting to load anything. Taking its sweet time to do a lot of stuff. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can get this computer fixed because I don't really feel like spending twelve to fourteen hundred bucks on a new computer when I can spend that twelve to fourteen hundred bucks on truck parts, if you know what I mean. Uh, but we do have new truck parts in. We do have new truck parts. Wait, we have parts that are waiting to go on the truck, parts that are coming in, and as well as parts that are going to be ordered soon. Um, so we'll be. Uh, I'll be going over. What, uh, what all has been done to the truck here shortly. Just let me make it to the store real quick, drop the computer off, and I'll get right back to y'all. All right, guys, so the little overview of the truck. Let's see, where to start? I guess we'll start up here in the engine, around the engine bay, and then we'll work towards the end of the truck. Um, so first thing, yeah, it needs to be cleaned. Uh, SMB intake all the way to the turbo. Uh, let's see. 
PCV reroute. It's done. Uh, resonator delete. The PCV reroute and the resonator delete with the plug for the PCV is all through Deviant Race Parts. Um, Chris Roska and Chad Hall and all those guys up there in Idaho. Great guys, great guys to work with. Order my parts, just about everything through them. Um, let's see. Another thing, anything else up here? Oh yeah, uh, let's see. So obviously you can't see it because you have to remove the AC compressor, but I've got the PPE ported rail fitting as well as on down here on the driver's side fuel rail I've got the Deviant Race products um, race race valve uh, the plug the yeah um, that's let's see I think that's about it underneath the hood all I've done I haven't really done a whole lot of stuff under the hood yet um, Truck runs Amsoil, Amsoil OE synthetic, uh, changed every 5,000. Um, so that's the engine, all, all my fluids are Amsoil fluids, engine oil, transmission fluid. Um, we've got, sorry, it's if you can't tell, it's raining a little bit, um, which is fine because it's gonna be, it's finally warming up down here. Um, which I know to a lot of the a lot of you guys up north, to a lot of you guys up north, uh, it's 70 degrees, and I'm in pants and a t-shirt. But when you live in South Georgia and you're from the South, 70 degrees can be kind of cool. Uh, we had a little chill, like a little cool weekend. It what didn't get out of the 60s really. Uh, but that's that's for us Southerners. It's a little cool. Uh, oh. Uh, did a video on this a while ago headlight housings top and bottom um, headlights actually I'll turn them on real quick and show you Let's see. turn it on fog lights but headlights LEDs um, these LEDs have fans built in with them. It's all like a ballast fan, everything in one. Um, LED low beams, regular halogen high beams. Uh, the daytime running lights are LEDs as well as the fog lights. Turn it back off. Uh, let's see. Um, blacked out emblem, and that's about it up here, moved down, down around the driver's side, we've got our Fast 150, um, for the Fast I prefer to run, I prefer, to, I prefer running a Fast filters on the Fast, uh, you can, I've ran Wix filters, Cat filters, Baldwin filters, Donaldson filters. Um, they all do good. They're all, I mean, they're basically, you're, you're, the basic thing about your filter is you want to look at your micron filtration. Um, Fast has some really good filters. I like theirs, and they're actually really cheap. Um, I get them from a friend up in, uh, get them from a friend up in, uh, up, in up near Atlanta at Summit Racing, so. Sorry about that. Girlfriend called. Um, but yeah, I run fast filters. I get them. I can get them pretty cheap from through Summit up in a uh, up near Atlanta. I got a friend up there who can hook, who hooks me up with them. Um, and so that's the that's the only thing on the driver's side, passenger side wise. I mean, you got the exhaust, which we'll come down here and look at real quick. Uh, exhaust is a complete straight pipe, four inches. It's a Domini system I've had for whew, going on five years now. Into decided I wanted to change it up, so I ran into an axle dump. Um, I like it. It's nice. 
uh, I want to get rid of the, I want to, I do want to get rid of this soon one day and change it up to a five inch system. I might still stick with the axle dump. Um, definitely not going to be running a uh, stack on this truck. This truck is, this truck gets a lot of highway, it gets, gets driven around a lot. Um, and I just feel like a stack would not really fit its purpose. Uh, driving down the road a lot and everything. Um, and on the exhaust side, the only other thing, which is almost impossible to show you right now, uh, is the MBRP 3 inch downpipe that's been on it for going on three and a half to four years now. Um, and the only other modification, I guess you would call it modification, um, let's see, uh, like a appearance wise modification, new tail lights, tail light housings. Um, these were put on, I think I put these on about three weeks ago. Uh, just not a very expensive pair of tail light housings. They look stock, stock appearing, just tinted. Uh, brake lights, you can still see clear as day through them. Reverse lights, you can see clear as day through them. Um, I just like the way they look. They're going along with the theme that I want with this truck, which is to get rid of chrome, all this chrome bumpers. Uh, new wheels will be coming, will be coming on the truck soon. Um, parts coming on the truck, parts that I already have. We've got the uh, Deviant Race Parts uh, fuel sump, as well as, let's see, I think that's the only thing. Let's see, we have a couple more parts, I just can't remember them. Um, traction bars, traction bars coming soon. Uh, Caltrax, gonna be getting those. Uh, let's see. Getting new shocks all the way around soon. Uh, probably going with the Bilstein, probably 5100s. Um, so new shocks coming in. Getting new, 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 new shoes, new wheels. Um, that's about it, guys. There's nothing really done. Well, besides tuning, um, there's nothing really done on the inside that I can show you. Uh, everything. I mean, the truck's a little bit of a mess. Girlfriend and I just got back from Florida a little while ago, or last last night. So, truck's a little dirty. Uh, only other thing to show you, let me turn that chime off, would be the LED interiors. Um, now, truck is running EFI Live from Corey Willis, PPEI. Uh, everybody on Facebook and on the forums kind of rags on them a little bit. But I, I really enjoy his tuning. His, tu his tuning has been really good for the truck. Um, truck's, a, truck, truck's a lot more awake. Uh, I've been running this tuning for three years now. And it's been great. Um, when I first got the truck, about, about four months after I got the truck, I got this little Edge Evolution programmer from a friend. Got it for free. Uh, now I just use it as a set of gauges until I get my until I get a CTS. Uh, just been haven't really been want not that I've been wanting to spend the money on it. It's just that I haven't really had the time. I've been working six days a week. Um, but yeah, guys. Other than that, that's the overview of the truck. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about my truck or anything, I may have forgotten to go over leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, I usually try to reply within a day or so. Uh, if you, if you leave me a question, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to put out this content. Uh, and that's about it guys. So y'all take care, stay safe. God bless.